stakeholders here have lamented the recent global survey that identified Nigeria as the second in the world and first in Africa among its countries with the highest number of people defecating in the open. They believe that the practice has its attendant consequences such as diarrhea and recurrent outbreak of cholera in the country. Government officials say efforts are being made to promote access to hygienic sanitary facilities in Nigeria. Still an implementation of the program tagged Clean and Green, aiming to end qualification in Nigeria by 2025, is too far away. Provision of toilets and other sanitary facilities to communities under its community based waste management program. Commenced sanitary inspection of all federal government establishments and public places that is markets, hotels, avenues, motor parks, etc. The World Health Organization, through its representative at the occasion, noted that for there to be an end to open defecation in Nigeria, that people must change their attitude towards the practice. It's the need for Nigerians for us to have a change of attitude. It is not enough to have a toilet. People must have a culture to use and maintain the toilets. The stakeholders agreed that there is a need for awareness creation towards mobilizing Nigerians to imbibe sound environmental and hygiene practices with emphasis on stopping the practice of open defecation in the country. Basil Okafo, Core TV News, Abuja.